What up guys and fellow lovers of the Gibi world? How are you everyone? Um, I need to confess something. I cannot stop playing with 1.17. That's right. Plus in last episode I ran out of time. Hello bunny. So quickly that I got no time to do anything. But I continued playing. I fixed this machine. I fixed the, the copper machine right here. I also did this semi-industrial farm of Leva. Which I love, by the way. You take lava from these cauldrons right here. And then it rotates everything. Why is it so laggy? 24 FPS. We're low there. Alright. But yeah, you take the lava from here. And it rotates the whole thing to... For these cauldrons to be refilled. Right now, we have to the random tick speed to zero. So let's up it to 500 to see it happening. Oh yeah, by the way, this time I turned on the particles. Yep, there you go. It fills up. We have 24 spaces on each of the layers. We have two layers, so 48 spaces of lava fillage. Or <laughs> however it is said. And then we can take it out from these cauldrons right here. I also this, did this little monstrosity, you know? <laughs> it's it's a counter for five sides. Five of the sides. Oh, this this one got stuck. But yeah, it's a it's a counter for five of the of the sides of the of the budding amethyst, which means we have almost complete efficiency of one only amethyst, and we collect all the amethyst shards down here in this barrel. It is very slow, even having it at random random tick speed of five hundred. Um, but yeah, this is what I came up with. It's it's a little bit of a mess, but it works. It works just fine, um, and it works better than this one even, because as you can see, this one got stuck. With this system, it almost never gets stuck. Just when uh, when the the shard grows in less than a tick, then the observer doesn't detect it. But that happens once in a, in a while. So yeah, it it's more probable that it keeps running for a long time than it gets stuck. So here you have it guys. It has a counter, uh, a singular counter for each for each side of the budding amethyst. So it works it works individually, independently. I also kept playing with the copper golds as well. I I realized that I could use one of those systems right in here as well. And that's what I did. So if we if we grab a copper block and we place it right here. You see, it's gonna count the stages. That's the second stage, and in the third stage, it walks it and it pushes over, and then it resets to the third stage. And I also, I also did this thing with the pistons to make a floor, like a floor or something, to store the blocks. You know, so whenever it it uh, reaches this this last last block, the pistons push all the thing over, and we can form up to twelve blocks here. So it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 uh, by 12 area. It, it's nice. I, ju I just kept playing with the features. Uh, here's our farm that from last um, episode. I also built this. Uh, I was I was just playing to see what I can what I could come up with, and I came up with this little clock. It's roughly a about um, seven seconds, so it, it cycles and it resets every seven seconds, as you can see. It spits a block every roughly seven seconds, and then all the blocks get stored here, if you don't want to lose them. And I just thought it was it was fun to do. We of course need two, two T flip flops, one with this piston and then a second one with this one. This observer is the one that triggers this dropper with, you know, with quasi connectivity. Uh, strange things from Java, but it works just fine. It works perfectly, actually. It hasn't failed once, so it is it is nice. If you want to turn it on, you just spit one item, and it won't spit another one again. You turn the lever off, and that's that's it. You turn the clock off. So that's what I've been playing off with. Uh, sorry, I also tried the goat. But it doesn't seem to attack mobs, or at least not immediately. Let's, let's grab a creeper. Oh, we're in peaceful, right? So let's grab a cow. Yeah, both of them gave milk. 
So as you can see, it doesn't attack it. I thought goats attacked all mobs, but it might be because we were in peaceful. So if we change this to easy, will it attack it? Mm, it doesn't seem like it. Let's change this to, to hard, straight up to hard. Will it attack the cow? Let's put more cows. Oh, huh. no, it doesn't seem like they attack mobs. Maybe hostile mobs? Although, I, I don't think they would attack hostile mobs, because why would they? No, you see, it doesn't attack any mobs. I don't know if it's like random and <laughs> at any point it will start getting angry and attack the rest of the mobs. Let's put more here and see if they... They are like pandas, because they could be like pandas, that there are some that that get angry and some that are that are very peaceful. I don't know, They're, they don't seem to attack any mobs. I also tried with myself, and they didn't attack me either. Okay, let's try with, my, with ourselves. Oh no, because we're going to die with, by the creepers. Um, kill... At E, type... Creeper. There we go. Let's try with ourselves. We're in survival. Let's hit one of these. No, it just runs out. Yeah, it, ju it just runs from us like a coward. It doesn't attack us. Why? Ah, oh, well. I wanted to see that powerful punch that they have. Um, it could be useful for farms or something. But I think the... Um, that, that, for that... I think the hugling, the suggling is more useful than goats. Um, I also wanted to do something with powder snow. I just don't know what. I I, I kept thinking. The only thing I could think is uh, killing spiders, but like it's not very useful for that. Uh, tinted glass. I also wanted to test, but like it's very obvious what it does. So I don't think it's worth it to to spend some time in that. I also wanted to say, look how good the deep slate uh, diamond ore looks, and look how contrast, uh, how good the contrast is with the color. It's like dark with dark. I didn't mention this in the last video, but but it's just beautiful. These deep slate things are very beautiful. Also, this it's like a shulker uh, backwards shulk shulker. Let's see it from below. Yeah, yeah, it's like a shulker, like an open shulker. Mildly open. It's it's nice. It's called the uh, the chisel deep slate. You know how chisel blocks always have a map like carved into it into them. And yeah, guys, that's what I've been doing. Oh yeah, you, you just saw a glimpse of how it it breaks the amethysts. It got stuck again. Wow. I don't know why that that is happening. Like I tested it for like an hour. It didn't get stuck at all, I mean. So I'm, I don't know what is happening. Probably I'm going too far, I don't know. Uh, these things, uh, are they're pre-releases, as you can see we are in pre-release 4. Um, in, last, in, last, in the last video we were in pre-release 3. But yeah, there are some bug fixes that need to be done still. And hopefully, for, hopefully they fix that if it's a bug. If if it's my wrong, I don't know what I why I what I did wrong, but I don't think I, I think it's probably a bug, or maybe it's just the random tick speed that we have we have gotten a lot of bad luck today. Um, also with the goats, I don't know what's happening there. I thought they attacked mo mobs, but who knows? Anyways, guys, I just wanted to to show you that. Also, I wanted to tell you that in the last video I said. June 22nd, I mean June the, June the 2nd, I'm sorry about that, um, and yeah, I'm very excited for June the 8th, because the the actual release, the actual update 117 is coming on June 8th, so I'm very excited about that, and yeah, I'm, I cannot wait, I, I'll, keep, I'll keep probably playing with these features, uh, not too much, I don't want to wear me off before the update, but it's just I'm I'm very excited about it guys. So anyways, 
that's all for this video. It was a short one. I just wanted to show you all these things that I've done. And thank you for watching, guys. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.